What's up guys, Vish here doing the third part of the Powered Rails tutorial series. What we're going to be covering today is just the real basics of redstone so that way we can get moving with our tutorials and the next video after this will be a three way intersection tutorial teaching you guys how to take three different tracks and link them together so that way you can just push a button and decide which direction you're going to go in. So let's just get started real quick here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just lay down a little button. And for everyone's knowledge, you can't put buttons down on the ground. It has to be on the side of a block. So I'm going to go ahead and actually move that to the front. And uh, I'm going to actually put down a lever as well. Because these are the two things I'm going to be showing you the basics of. Um, how to use levers and how to use buttons. Redstone torches and all that good stuff. Okay, so... Now I'm going to go ahead and just put down some track real quick and I'm going to show you one real basic thing that you can do with track that you can that we're going to actually need to use in this case. So all this is is a little turn and I'm going to show you how to take this piece and turn it. And just set that to 0. That way you get some light in here and uh so really it's really basic. All you got to do is power you have to give power to this. And we're going to use a button in our video so it's only fair that I use a button right now. And so once you got some redstone wired to that, every time you push it, it's just going to go ahead, power the redstone and it's going to flip this. This is going to be used in our intersection because it's going to allow us to decide which way you go. So you're coming in an intersection here. By default, you might go this way. But if you want to go that way, you're going to push a different button, which is going to change the track and give you a push in this direction. So I'm sure you guys can all understand that. Pretty basic. And the same thing, if you guys wanted to go ahead and use a lever, uh, all you got to do is hook up the lever and flip it. On, off, on, off. And you guys can notice it's doing the same thing with this because it has the same function as the button. It's just either on or it's off. There's no sort of... And this rain uh, that just came... It's actually quite annoying. I don't really like it in this game, but what can you do? Uh, hopefully it doesn't take away from too much. This isn't going to be too much more, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue. Um, so some basic things that you're going to want to know. Um, powered, powered rails. The same thing to power them. There's a couple different things you can do. Go ahead and stick, some, stick a redstone torch down. It'll power up to nine of these. So that's something you want to keep in mind. You're not going to be able to use one torch to power a shitload. But, you know, um, if you want to go ahead and use some sort of lever instead for whatever reason, you can just, you can actually wire this lever here. I wish I placed it in a little better area, but go ahead and put it right here. And, um, you guys will notice if I flip this on and off, it won't do anything. As soon as I add this wire, there you go, on, off, on, off. So that's that, and finally the button is the same exact approach, but I'll actually put another one down here just to just to actually show you guys and tell you guys one thing. Um, I'll put it here to make a little point. If I go ahead and put this button on and push it, you guys will see it turned on. But the reason for that is because there's one block space, and that might be something that, that'll bother you sometimes. Because if I go ahead and put it right here, and then try putting the button. I'm not allowed, I'm not able to and the reason for this is simply it needs some sort of space and that's the problem with the button so if you want to put it here you would be able to put a block down here and the button on the side but you guys will notice it will do the same exact thing but it's not going to be accessible if you're coming from say this side so it's just a couple things to keep in mind but what's kind of cool about this is that you can you can do things with buttons like put them on both sides say you wanted to do a two-sided whatever you just can't put it on the sides that are actually touching touching the uh... The whatever it is but the buttons will work all around that's just to keep in mind pretty basic stuff but um... you know and then finally you got we got our torches that we just went over but um... this is always going to be on so you just got to keep in mind that they're never going to turn off and when you're playing legit, sometimes redstone is just, you know, you don't want to worry about all these torches every time you need power. So they made they made these things called detector rails. And now what they do is they actually power, they give power to the rails only when a cart goes over them. And I'll show you a little example here. I'll go ahead and do this. And you guys will notice here. I got this. 
you guys will notice if I walk over it, it's not going to do anything. Um, I'm actually going to need a cart. So. And you guys will just notice, I'm going to go ahead and just ask Robert to spawn me a minecart real quick. Just to save me time, because i got to type in the command and all that, all that schnaz. This is a really cool thing. I might make a video on it. It uh, actually lets you just visually spawn stuff. If that makes sense to you. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put, give this a push here. <laughs> and as you guys can see, the uh, southwest will come to new effect here. But definitely, yeah, uh, we'll actually make a video on that so you guys get it a little bit more. But you guys will notice, as soon as the cart traveled over it, it uh, actually got instantly powered. And I'm going to show you again if you guys didn't catch a glance of it. But as it passes over, it gives perfect amount of power. This is really useful if you're making, if you want to make something that's, in 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 essence, it's really somewhat of a pressure plate that will power whatever it's attached to. So you can even use this, um, in accordance with, whoops, in accordance with uh, redstone. And I can't. Yeah, let me try and show you here that it'll work uh, over multiple rails as well. Go ahead and break this down and actually make a little track right here. So I got the redstone attached and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. Give it a little push in a second. And I apologize for any sort of lag again because my FPS does drop in this rain sometimes as I record. But there you go. Give it a push and you guys will notice that this one turned on as well because... In this game, redstone is really universal. Uh, whatever it's touching, if it gives out power, it's not specific to what it's giving out. You can have multiple sources, multiple destinations, as you guys can see here. One thing can power multiple, multiple different tracks, things like that. Really, so it's really universal. But I just thought I'd give you guys a little uh, lesson on that, so that way, when I'm doing this next video, we're gonna be using all of this, and I don't want anyone to be confused because. My stand on tutorials personally is that if you make a tutorial where people don't actually know how to make it, would know how to make anything that they'd be able to adapt to their own situation, is what I should say actually, then there's not, then they're not really learning. So that's that. Um, hopefully, I didn't bore you too much, and I will see you guys in the next video, which should be coming out tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that, guys, and see you again.